This is a very old alchemy book. I think it was shipped over here from England. Somebody bought a uh, antique book collection and uh, apparently it had alchemy books in it. So we're starting to go through and look at them. There's another one here. This one, it's, uh, that one might be an alchemy book. It's on the animal kingdom. That one is, but this one, I don't see any markings on the cover. There's an interesting um, image here. What does that say? Sola Virtus Atchison Lyle. These stamps here appear to be from England. I don't know what they're about. I don't see a date. On when the book was made. Part of this page right here was cut out for some reason. Someone cut part of it out. Manual of Chemistry. Or a brief account of the operations of chemistry and their products. It says chemistry, but it's an alchemy book, to be sure. And it covers a lot of stuff. It says it was translated from the French of M. Baum. B E A U M E. <laughs> Demonstration in Chemistry at Paris and member of the Royal Academy of Sciences. The second edition corrected with additions. This is some type of alchemy book. Preface to this edition of the translation. It talks about the science. Manual of Chemistry Introduction Chemistry is a science founded on experiment. Talks about affinity of matter, different substances, compositions. Simple affinity of composition, compound affinity, affinity of aggregation. There's a lot of stuff in here. It covers metallurgy too, uh, such as works on iron pyrite. Affinity of, disc of decomposition. Talks about uh, vitriolated tartar and oil of tartar. It's got all kind of recipes in here. It talks about names of different people which sound familiar. Be Becker, B E C. H E R. I think that's the name of an alchemist. And Stahl, S T A H L. Secondary principles. Primitive elements or elements or primitive principles. Talks about saline substances, metallic substances, 
This liquor has not the alkaline taste. This was written obviously in the heyday of alchemy because uh, a lot of the S's are written as an F instead. That word taft, taft, I mean, it's they're saying taste. Examination of alkali saturated with the coloring matter of Prussian blue. Metallic substances. Corrosive sublimate. sublimate. Met under metallic substances. Mercurius dulcis. This has got all kinds of recipes. Artificial cinnabar. Smoking liquor of Libavius. Solid butter of tin. Mercury revived from cinnabar. Vermilion. This is some kind of an old alchemy book with all kind of uh, uh, recipes. Under metallic substances, this says on regulus of antimony. Silvery flowers of regulus of antimony. Somewhere in here there was a uh, a recipe on removing silver from lead. Apparently there was an alchemical recipe for how to get silver out of lead. This is all about antimony. Oh, here, golden sulfur of antimony extracted from the scoriae of regulus of antimony. Regulus of antimony separated from antimony. This is quite an interesting book. There's supposedly there's more alchemy books in this collection of antique books. Solution of bismuth in the nitrous acid. Crystals of bismuth. Bezor mineral. On zinc, flowers of zinc. Magistery of bismuth, purified zinc, zinc dissolved in the vitriolic acid, selenites extracted from pyrites. There's all kinds of recipes for work on iron pyrite. Alum extracted from pyrites. Flowers of sulfur, pyrites which have not fallen into efflorescence, distilled in a retort with a strong heat, yield flowers of sulfur which sublime to the vault of the retort. The kaput mortuum remaining in the retort is called burnings of sulfur. Vitriol extracted from pyrites. Pyrites fallen into efflorescence. Ores of silver, ores of gold. Roll sulfur. It talks about ores, metallic ores. Ores of cobalt, ores of mercury, ores of zinc, bismuth, antimony, earthy substances. Printed for J. Johnson, number 72, St. Paul's Churchyard. St. Paul's Churchyard, I'm not sure where that is. It reminds me of uh, Nicholas Flamel. Observations on the external use of preparations of lead with remarks on topical applications in general. Talks about calcination different matters. Oh, vitriol extracted from pyrites. Vitrifiable earths on vitriol extracted from pyrites. And then and then under that there are subsections green, calcined, lunar, of copper, of iron and copper, of lead, of mercury, sweet earth of vitriolated tartar.
This is going to be quite an interesting book. Oh, one of the alchemists named Stahl, S-T-A-H-L, uh, here, it says, uh, sulfurous, sulfurious salt of Stahl. Talks about works with Mars, metals, salt of tartar. Vitriolic acid, dissolving things from acid, or sep separated from antimony by aqua regia. Fixed alkali. Uh, things extracted from ores. Globbers. Here's a section on globber. Decomposed by salt of Saturn. Fallen into efflorescence. Procured from slot. Natural, artificial, acid of turpentine. Salt of Jupiter, salt of Saturn, under Globber. Globber was definitely an alchemist in my opinion. This is uh, ores of silver, Prince's metal, Prussian blue, quicklime. Talks a lot about fire. Opal, oils, ochre, that section on metallic substances, a uh, section on mixture, Silver. Liquor of flints. That's definitely an old alchemy recipe. Mineral waters. Red Lake of Cochineal. This is about dyes. Alchemy was big on dyes and acids and all kind of stuff. There's no telling what's in this book. I know I saw something on golden sulfur. From iron pyrite. Golden sulfur from iron pyrite. Rectification of phosphorus. This talks about animal, the animal kingdom of alchemy too, and the plant kingdom. And I remember somewhere researching and seeing something about an oil of egg, and right here it says analysis of white of egg. And under animal substances, a whole section on eggs, a whole section, oh here, a whole section on the animal kingdom, on the animal kingdom. Okay, so I'm thinking this is covering all three kingdoms of alchemy here, plant, animal, and mineral. The metallurgy, dulcified spirit of salt, vegetable substances, that's plant. Tincture of salt of tartar. Oh, li lilium of Paracelsus or tincture of metals. I remember in the writings of Paracelsus reading about. He was writing. He was reading writing about lily, and I always wondered what he meant. Here's a whole section on it. Lilium of Paracelsus or tincture of metals. Water of Raybel, vitriolic aether,
volatile sulfurous vitriolic acid obtained by the distillation of vitriolic aether. Decomposition of soap by acids, white soap. This is on all this is all alchemy. The alchemist made soaps, dyes, acids, salts. They I really worked with salts, they did, you know, metallurgy. Min this is all this section is all about mineral waters. And here we are in the metals again. Arsenic dissolved in water, regulus of arsenic. There's no, no identification on the outside. It looks very old. I don't know how old this book is. It's been translated in, in different languages, so it's probably the original. Whatever the original was, it would have at least been back in Paracelsus' time, I would think, because he's in it. Who knows? It's an old book. Leather-bound alchemy book. Interesting. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see updates on my work. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year.